What is up Web Studio creators? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Web Studio forms to Airtable so that you can receive and view all submitted data on a form inside of an Airtable base. To do so, jump into your Web Studio editor and in your navigator, go ahead and select your form. From here, we first want to configure the naming of our form inputs so that we can match that naming up on Airtable. You can see for my form, I have a name, an email, and a message field. So I'm going to name them respectively. Simply select your text input, go over to settings, and under name, give it the name of this field. So the first field is a name field. I'm going to call this name. The second field is an email field. I will call this email. And the third field is where a user would submit a message. So I will just call this message. With my base input naming set up, I'm now going to jump into Airtable and begin setting up the table that will receive my form data. Once you're logged into Airtable, on the bottom left, you'll see the option to create a base. We're going to start with that. I'm gonna close the getting started panel and I'm just gonna name this base form submissions. From there, I'm going to name the table in this form. I'll call this form data and I want to configure my Airtable table to match the structure that I have on my Web Studio form. So same thing as what I had on Web Studio. I had a name field, which we already have by default on Airtable. I had an email field, which I will create now. I'm just gonna go email and the field type will be email. And I had a message field, same thing here. I'll just call this message. And that was a long text field. Now that my fields are set up on Airtable to match my Web Studio fields, I'm going to go into the Automations tab of this base. From here, I want to then set up a trigger. And for our integration, we are going to use the Webhook trigger. I now want to connect my Webhook URL to a form action. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the URL that we have here, jump back into Web Studio, and under your Navigator, go ahead and select your form instance. Then under the Settings tab, and properties, we're going to add a new action field. With my action field created, I'm then simply going to paste in the URL I copied from Airtable into the field below. With that done, I'm now gonna publish my website. So go ahead and click on publish. And once the site's been published, we can then go and test this action on the front end. All right, so I'm now on the front end of my website. I'm going to submit some test data to my form. For the name, I'll just do John. Email, I'll do john at doe.com. And for the message, I'll just do something like, hi, I would like a website. Submit that. And I'm now going to go back to Airtable to see if it has received my initial submission data. I then go into my trigger details and click on test trigger. And you'll see it's been successful, it has received data. And if I do click on the body to check, I can see that I've got john, john at doe.com and my message. With the data received, I now want to map this information to the correct columns on Airtable. To do that, go back onto your automation page, click on add advanced logic or action, and we want to create a record. We're then going to select the table we want the record to go into and start mapping the fields. So my name field obviously goes to my name data, my email field to my email, and lastly, my message field to my message. And you'll do this for any fields you have in your form that you want integrated on Airtable. Once you're done, we're just going to run as configured and run this test. You'll see a record has been created with the correct information. We're gonna close the pop-up. And before we exit the automations page, don't forget to turn on your automation for reviewing your data. Jumping back into the data tab, you'll see our newly submitted form data is now visible. I'm gonna do one more quick test to make sure this works. I'm gonna go back to my form, refresh my page, submit some other things. I'll just type in random data here this time. Submit and back over to Airtable. You can see the new submission has been populated. And that is how we can integrate Web Studio forms with Airtable. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to see in a future video. And in the meantime, I'll catch you in the next one.